ads. And if they want, they can make one that will destroy the whole solar system. So the ability and the nihilistic exterminist view to be able to do this does not make you God just because, you know, Max Planck's equations gave you the atomic bomb. And that equation was from 1900 and 1901 when he published the equations that were expanded on by Albert Einstein. And we're not in 1900. We're in 2014, folks, and they've gone way past atomic and hydrogen bombs. Just let me give you a little newsflash. And that's why they're phasing out the human army now, going to the pure robot. That's why they're moving into this. So I guess I've already given you the Captain America uh, update. I mean, maybe I'll do a special report for the Nightly News or something tonight because I just pretty much gave it to you right there. I need to write some notes and cover it all. I, but, but again, why is it so important? Because the general public doesn't get their news anymore from news. News is meant to be discredited by the system, destroyed, where government just puts out press releases that then pretty much just get accepted as reality because there's no alternative. That's the world they want once they shut off the free web. And then everything else is just Michelle Obama's a rock star, Hillary's a rock star, uh, being trendy, leaving your husband's wonderful, uh, you know, taking vaccines is sexy, drinking you know, GMO, fluoride, garbage is good, on and on and on. 80 plus percent of people only get their news now from entertainment. And they've legalized, what's already been going on for a long time this year, domestic funding of lies and propaganda. You can look that up. We have the Business Insider article up there from last year. They've already been doing this, but now they've publicly turned Pentagon PSYOPs and 18 private Merck groups, as well as 15 intelligence groups, loose on everyone. And now they're just running around everywhere spewing disinfo. But I've seen it have a reverse lensing effect and actually has demoralized the globalist and has just completed the decompartmentalization uh, that, that, that we've helped uh, promote and push as a key breach of the enemy complex. And now the, the establishment, even, even the psychopathic control freaks that are in it, realize they're going to be destroyed as well in this. And now their basic survival instincts are kicking in. And the more, and the more moral members of the power structure uh, and the establishment now realize it's all true. And the worst of the worst have been given control. And now people really have a decision on whether they want to end the human experience as we've known it and buy into this thing that we're ugly and bad and the, and the age of humans is over and just turn everything over to the transcendent man that even if it's real, even if it's feasible, we're not going to be given access and entrance into that next level publicly. That's the set uh, official global standard of the Codex Alimentarius, UNESCO agenda uh, of Julian Huxley who was the director general of UNESCO and the planetary chair of the scientific board of eugenics renamed in 1947 uh, to the transhumanist society. And this is a done deal if we don't stop them. You have to understand that. And they've taken our knowledge, our power, our, our, our spark of, of, of innate creator power that God gave us, we're made in God's image, we are made in the image of the master creator, ladies and gentlemen. And, and people say, well, that's not true. That's your Bible. No, no, no. It's true. Look around you. It's prima facie on its face. It is. And our knowledge, our genius of the good, of the enlightened, of the loving, of the strong has been stolen. The Promethean fire that God gave us has been stolen by the devil who is never a maker is a destroyer, and they have used Promethean Elysium fire to build this technological abomination. And I'm not against technology itself. It is that this ring was forged for evil, this system. Now, when we come back, top story that is so huge, and it's great news, devastatingly good news. It, it, it's not the ranchers standing up. That rancher's coming on the next hour. The Nevada, the governor saying it's tyranny. 
Uh, it's not the mass stabbing news, which is important because it shows, you know, it's not the gun, it's not the knife, it's the person. You can't stop crazy people unless you have a gun or a knife as well. The answer to crazies is defending yourself. It's not Hank Aaron saying if you don't like Obamacare, you're KKK. Do you want to feel awesome all day long? Do you want to sleep so good you wake up feeling awesome the way you did when you were a kid? Feel awesome with no caffeine, just awesome tasting nutrition. Try Passion for Life and rediscover your awesomeness. Call today, 844-TRY-LIFE. Call 844-879-5433 or visit 844-TRY-LIFE.COM. My name's Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries. It felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Curious about what comes next? Next is the feeling of vulnerability you get after you arrive home to discover your house has been ransacked by burglars. Fool the bad guys with a new improved fake TV. You asked for it, we listened, and we made our new fake TV three times brighter than our previous model. The brightness of our new fake TV is equivalent to a 40-inch TV. It simulates the color and motion of a real TV while you're away from home. And when burglars think someone is home watching television, they're likely to pass your house and move on to an easier target. The new, brighter Fake TV is only $39.95 and includes free shipping. Go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again. That's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Wide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. I predicted Heartbleed years ago, tracking enemy attack patterns. And I believe Heartbleed is a Cyber Command above NSA attack on the internet itself. And it is looks like it's bringing down commerce right now. Major governments from Canada to Germany. Uh, are announcing or saying they're looking at announcing uh, ending online tax filings. 
uh, ending basically a lot of online commerce. It's hitting Amazon. It's hitting everything. That is coming up, and I'm having major brainstorms right now. We're going to collate that information, and we're going to break it down at 40 after when Paul Watson joins us. You're just going to see a quickening across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me give you the top story right now. I've said this over and over again, and I've told congressmen and women this on air. I've told a lot of influential people this. They agree, and they say it's common sense, but it's why the NSA targets people. It's why the media targets people. It's why they bring out any type of petty dirt on good congressmen and women or good governors that stand up for freedom but you know had a girlfriend five years ago on the side or didn't pay their taxes right or... Uh, these are the type of things that they throw you in prison for. Martha Stewart type stuff to scare the general population. Mark Cuban did nothing wrong. Sold $800,000 of his billions of stock and they said, we're going to put you in jail on the phone and in emails because you're going to produce a film with Alex Jones. And he said, I'm sorry, I've never been threatened like this. And then they still tried to put him in jail even when he backed out of the deal. Two years after I told you that, it came out in the New York Times because he released the emails where they said from the SEC, we're going to put you in jail for making that movie, you piece of crap. I mean, that's how arrogant they are. They tell you we're going to falsely prosecute you. He's beaten them twice. They keep coming back under a new administration because there is no change, folks, from Bush, Clinton, Bush to Obama. Same crew, same people, folks. Same crew. A CIA criminal breakaway group. That's who they are. Period. Period. We all know their CIA code names, their section chiefs. It's all come out. George Herbert Walker Bush, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, Hillary. All of them. All of them. CIA. 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 Period. Period. The narcotics trafficking. All of it. The open borders. The money laundering. They're gangsters. Homeland Security is their takeover arm. They work for the big foreign banks. But they've really got power because they've been politically sitting on it so long. They're almost a dictator crew who's almost as powerful as the mega banks themselves. Because they've been in control of America so long. I'm decompartmentalizing everything here, folks. Now, let me give you the top story. They've been intimidating Hollywood. They've been intimidating authors. They've been intimidating the culture, talk show host. Preachers, they've been intimidating Congress more than anybody with the NSA and with made-up dirt. And that's why if somebody promotes basic liberty, the Second Amendment and family values, and ending corruption and ending big banks being tax-exempt, I don't care if they're swinging from chandeliers, folks, with their, uh, you know, whatevers. The real crime is put, signing us on to trillions in debt. The real crime is aborting 50 million babies. The real crime is putting fluoride in the water. So you got to stand with people they're going to come after. They're going to call Rand Paul racist. They're going to have fake Democrats go dressed up like Klan members and claim their buddies with them. They're going to have women show up saying they were with Rand Paul. Get ready. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. You want to beat these people? You got to realize their game plan. Now, the top story here is it's begun. Two congressmen, both from Texas, and it makes me proud of the fact that, again, a lot of evil comes out of Texas, but a lot of good comes out of it. A lot of good comes out of America, a lot of bad comes out of America. That's what it's like when you're the blessed, powerful, special country that we were. Is the battle is being contended right here. We are one of the main zones. When we come back from break, I'm going to play these clips that are up on Infowars.com. It is so incredibly important. Holder explodes at Louis Gohmert. You don't want to go there, buddy. Again, starts becoming a gangster. The fake little sweet sea act goes. He's like, you don't want to go there, buddy, with contempt. You don't want to go there with criminal charges. Because they are in contempt. And another congressman went even further. Texas District 27, that's Ron Paul's old district. It's a different number now, but it's the same area. Representative Blake Farenhold, who's got a lot of courage, folks, says Eric Holder should be in jail to his face. This is the blood of victory, the essence of reality. The, 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 you know, he doesn't look like Thor. He doesn't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He doesn't look like the classic hero, but that's a real man right there.
to tell. They all know Eric Holder is a hardcore mastermind involved in Oklahoma City. They all know he runs major ops. They're literally telling a ring wraith he's a criminal to his face. We're on the march. The Empire's